Okay, here we have a related rate problem, and we know it's a related rate problem because there are speeds that are given in the question. So he is walking at 2.4 meters per second. So that just sort of jump off the page right there, and we know that things are moving, so it's likely a calculus derivatives question involving related rates. So Jim's 180 centimeters tall, walks towards a 3 meter tall lamppost. The lamp casts a shadow behind him, and Jim notices his shadow gets shorter as he gets closer to the lamp. He's walking at 2.4 meters per second. So I've just drawn a diagram. Here's Jim. I did 1.8 meters because my uh, height, the height of Jim is given in, in centimeters, so make sure you change that to meters. It's 1.8 because our speed is given in meters per second. Uh, so I've sort of drawn two scenarios, the black one, and then he's, he's walking this way at 2.4 meters per second. So he's getting closer, so this blue line represents sort of another time when he's closer to this lamppost. Uh, this is the lamppost here, three meters tall. Uh, I've also labeled, you know, these are somewhat obvious questions that they're going to be uh, similar triangles, but setting them up can be difficult. So I've just sort of drawn the two triangles. You can see where the 90 degree makes them similar. So there's the big black triangle and then the small black triangle here on the left. Um, so what we want to start to do, at least, is um, set up some of those ratios. So I'm going to say um, the ratio of the heights, so 1.8 to 3, must equal x, the base of the small one, to the base of the big one, which I've labeled y. And that's all great, but if you look at what's, what the movement we have, it's actually given us 2.4 meters per second. That's this piece that is changing two at negative 2.4 meters per second. So we don't have a letter for that yet, and it's not x or y. It's actually uh, y minus x. So I'm going to label that actually m. Why don't we call that m for now? So if we think about that, we can say, well, y y must equal x plus m, right? The entirety of the base must equal the length of his shadow, which is x, plus whatever's left over between him and the lamppost, so that's m. So I'm just going to actually rewrite this ratio as 1.8 over 3 equals x over x plus m. And the reason I do that is because part a asks, when he's 3 meters from the lamppost, how fast is the length of his shadow decreasing? So when I look at the length of his shadow, here's the guy. So the length of the shadow is actually x here. So I'm looking for dx by dt. In other words, how fast is x changing with respect to t? And what do I know? I know dm by dt. That's my negative 2.4, right? m is changing with respect to time at 2.4 meters per second. So what I can do now is I can simplify this ratio by cross multiplying, so I get 1.8x plus 1.8m equals 3x, and then I can move the 1.8x over, so I get 1.8m equals 1.2x by subtracting that over, and now comes the differentiation piece, the actual calculus. Um, we know how fast m is changing, again I could replace that with negative uh, 2.4t, in fact why don't I do that? 1.8 M, the distance of m is always going to be negative 2.4t, because it depends on time, equaling uh, 1.2x, which I don't have in terms of t. So now I need to differentiate. Um, so you can either do that, or what I prefer is just from this spot here, I'm going to differentiate both sides. So I get 1.8 dm by dt. In other words, I'm differentiating both sides in terms of t, not in terms of x or m, but in terms of t because we're interested in the change in time. And now you can see that we've got 1.8 dm by dt, uh, which is 1.8 times negative 2.4 because that's the speed at which m is changing, equaling 1.2 dx by dt, and we are interested, like we set up here, in dx by dt. So just to isolate we get 1.8 over 1.2 times negative 2.4. So dx by dt, or the length of his shadow, is decreasing 
at 3.6 meters per second. Okay, so you can set up as many variables as you like in these related rate questions, but when you differentiate, it has to be in terms of t. Now the second question says, how fast is the tip of his shadow moving? So I think of that as, well, how fast is sort of the length of all of y changing? So now we can go back to our original, um, our original ratio of x over y, because we now know dx by dt. So I'm going to cross multiply again, 1.8y equals 3x. Now I'm going to differentiate, 1.8 dy by dt equals 3 dx by dt and we're looking for again how fast is this y changing with respect to time so that's dy by dt so I'm just gonna isolate dy by dt equals 3 times dx by dt which is we just found to be negative 3.6 over 1.8 and that gives negative 6 meters per second. So the whole bottom length is decreasing um, at 6, which makes sense. In fact, we could have just added those values, right? We found that dx by dt was changing at negative 3.6 meters per second, and we knew that m was changing at 2.4 meters per second. The two of those added together just gives you your negative 6 meters per second, but we showed it with the calculus, which is nice. A couple things to note here. They did mention in the question when he is 3 meters from the lamppost, how fast is the length of a shadow decreasing? And in this case, it's actually irrelevant, right? He's moving at a constant speed, so all of the other things are also moving at a constant speed. It, it, it is, uh, it's not dependent on time, meaning it doesn't matter what distance he's at, uh, they're moving at a constant speed, so that part's irrelevant. So it's a little bit of a, of a red herring there. Hopefully this makes sense. Again, for related rates, set up equations with as many variables as you like in your diagram, but when you go to differentiate, differentiate them all with respect to time so that you can fill in the speeds you know and solve for the speeds that you don't.